Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the thing I do here. Cut tape the... I am your host, Rick Alvarez. Got my words in my mouth today. Or I'm not feeling particularly sexy, so I thought I'd point the camera in a different direction. All right. It's been about two weeks since we've since we've done one of these. I've been busy. It's been tax season, and I run a business. So, you know, get your taxes done. Anyway, uh, what do we have today? We've got Masterpiece 51. I forget who this is. I think it's RC. I don't know, it's been sitting there for a few months. I've got Ramget. This is uh, the Generacion 2 Transmutate. And finally, we got Wave of Sound. Oh, I'm sorry, Bumblebee. We got Bumblebee. So, I thought we'd start with this one first. Because pretty interesting about, you know, this one. Ugh. You know, they actually spend money creating all this art for this background. They can't even create a text back to tell me about the character. But, okay. Okay, I see how it is. I am slightly relieved that Legacy does have, uh, you know, a tech spec-like item on the back. It's like a QR code, you scan it. We'll see if that takes us to a tech spec. Fairly, fairly excited about that. All right, so, Soundweva. Let's free him from his cardboard prison This is one of those figures, you know, you see it in the film, you never think you're gonna get it. Uh, but hey, here it is, and I'm, I'm here for it. I'm excited. Very, very white, stark white. And he looks a little goofy without, without a shoulder cannon here, but this is, oh, well, look at that. Look at how it plugs in, it plugs into the back. I'm digging that. Does the... Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm here for that too. Look at that. I didn't even know about that. Does it say it on the back of the package? It shows it. Wow. How exciting. He comes with very generic gun. This is actually a reused... Um, there's a Han Solo figure that came with this gun. Oh, he's got little clear bands up here. Okay. He turns into a space thing. I'm not sure anyone's really sure what he turns into. But what's exciting about this one is here is Ravagi. This is sold separately, but what does he have here in his tum tum? Oh, oh, look, he's got a little missile here. Oh, look. Oh, oh, no. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. G1 perfection. It's amazing that these designs, you know, when, when they were made in, in late 70s, early 80s, that they still transcend all this time, 40 years later, and we, we still get influences that you know people designed things like this the silhouette of soundwave his face 
40 years ago and it's it's still significant it's still being used there's something pretty special about that you know that's that's meaningful i wonder in another 40 years from now what what will it be so here here we go it's funny when when you first saw soundwave in revenge of the Fallen, none of us ever thought that we'd we'd get to a point where this this is a movie soundwave figure very very uh surreal almost to to think that how far the line has come that the aesthetic of the films have come all right transmutate this is a uh italian character hey it's transmutate this one's a reach for me you know, we had we had a pretty great transmutate that they could have reissued. And no, it wasn't transforming. It didn't have the best articulation. But this kind of feels like a reach to me. It really does. It. I mean, you know what would have saved this? Glow in the dark. I think glow in the dark. You look at this, and to me, if I didn't know anything about this, if I didn't know how to read, I would say, oh, that, that looks like it glows in the dark. All right, let's get him, her. I, you know, I like to think, you know, now that I'm a little older, a little wiser, uh, looking back on the way Transmutate was portrayed in the Beast Wars series, you can say, um, you know, maybe Transmutate is, uh, you know, neither male or female. I, and I like that. I kind of feel that, you know, that's apropos for the, for the character. I, I like the way that sounds, that Transmutate is neither God, that is haunting. Look at this. Ah! That is, that is haunting. That, yeah. I mean, there is a sadness in those eyes. Now, here Transmute turns into a T-Rex. It is, to me, a, a very, <sighs> this is, this is the stretchiest stretch we can get this is like uh, i'm almost there i'm reaching i'm reaching ah i got it with i got it with the tip of my fingers that's that to me is what's happening here great hut sculpt it's it's a little jarring this i mean it does look i mean you could say you know transmutate was a proto form It didn't scan. Maybe it chose not to scan. So it's 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 an odd. It's an odd thing. This, I, this is a curiosity, but it being part of the brand, of course, it exists in my collection. I don't want to say I have to get everything because I don't. But I like to document. And that's how I look at it now. I look at it. I look at it as I'm, I'm the keeper of a library, and one day after the world ends, in a few years or weeks, many many years from now, when the aliens come, or or when octopus, octopi, evolve, they will uh, they will find my basement and they will say, who are these? gods that they worshipped. Optimus must have been the head god because there's a lot more of him than anybody else.
All right. There he is. I love G2. Man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, people. Mmm. I love my G2. I'd be very fine if there was a whole line that was just, hey, it's G2.2 or, you know, Regeneration 2. Let's just go ahead and take them out of here. I'd, I'd be totally fine with that. You get new interpretations of guys who were in G2. You get maybe some of those, you know, G1.5 European characters in there. And then, you know, you're also gonna get new characters. What what was, you know, give give me give me this sound wave in G2 colors. That's what I want. That's what I need. I crave it now. I crave it. Now that I that I have that thought in my head, I never want it to leave. All right. Here he is, pretty tight, still tight. Yes, tight like boy, yes. Very tight joints. Man, even tighter than, wow. You know, I gotta think that they have multiple molds of this toy, of the, of the Seeker body, because the quality after all the different Seekers have been produced, I mean, it's still there. They didn't quite hit the color. It's not quite the color that I need to... Oh. You know, they do something great. And they give us G2 Ramjet, but then they give us G1 Decepticon symbols. And it's, it's really frustrating knowing that Jaxus is coming out in Legacy, but he's got the G2 symbol on it. <sighs> You know, I'd like to see G2 versions of all the Seekers. You know, G2 Thundercracker. G2 Skywarp. Give me Sandstorm and, well, we got Sandstorm. But give me um, Night Attack, Starscream. Give me G2 Thrust. G2 Dirge. All right, the final piece here. Man, everyone's just everyone's just different colors all over the place. MP51, which I believe is RC, if I remember correctly. Now this is the box I don't want to damage, so I'm just. I don't want to get any flap crease on it. It is RC. Let me ask you something, people. Did you ever think we'd get a real MP RC? I mean, you know, it's something. Did you ever think we'd get an MP Tigatron? But, I, I mean, here we are with RC. Wow. MP Black Arachnia. MP skids. Nothing is off the table now. That's how I look at it. No character from any universe is off the table. Holy crap, thinking of which, where's my HasLab Star Saber? Did that, where is that? I hope that didn't come out and it's in the basement somewhere. I don't think it's out yet. I really hope it's not out yet because I want to play with that and I just remembered that it's a thing. I was complaining to someone the other day, my friend Paul, that, uh, you know, this Robosan Optimus, $750. Okay. But here comes Robosan Optimus trailer, another $750. And... 
no one's saying, well, it's more than Unicron. A trailer is more than Unicron. I, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm just, you know, I don't really know if I've heard anyone make those comparisons. All right, so this is this is this is beautiful. Look at this. This is absolutely kind of passes the the roll test. It's gonna it's gonna scrape though. Comes with three different faces. Comes with a holster, blaster, smaller blaster, rifle, which I don't remember her using, and this little thing that came out. You know, well, she's attacking Junkions, whatever. 